finance. I'll ask up. What is a constant dollar plan? Well, trying to game the market, wait until that perfect day when it bottoms, then you'll get invested. Yeah, well, maybe if you were an MBA PhD and had 10 years training at the best hedge funds and had a natural knack for market timing and really knew financial history, well, maybe then it might make sense for you to roll the dice even though knowing that all of your brethren with the same background are wrong about half the time. But you're a plumber or a surgeon. Yeah, not that much of a difference. Or a lawyer or a professional wrestler. So what on earth are you doing trying to be smarter than the smartest professionals on Wall Street who are actually educated and supposed to know how to do this stuff? And even they're wrong a huge percentage of the time, right? So you want to be invested in the stock markets. All right, that's a smart move, uh, hard to argue. And the U.S. stock market has generally gone up a whole lot over time, uh, you know, about 10% a year with dividends reinvested, roughly. So rather than trying to be clever about things and uh, maybe sit in a whole bunch of cash while the bull market takes off and you're just staring at it, not making money, well, why not take away the decision process and deploy what's called a constant dollar plan? Well, you want shares of a given index fund, uh, call it ticker SPY, which represents the S&P 500 and is super cheap on fees. Yeah, like that, super cheap. Like 18 cents for every 100 bucks that you invest uh, management fees per year, way cheap. So you want to invest your easy savings of 500 bucks a month. Well, you just discipline yourself to, uh, I don't know, on the 15th of each month, you invest that 500 bucks regardless of the price of the index fund. Last month, its NAV or net asset value was uh, $13.38 a share. And your $500 bought you, uh, well, 500 divided by 13.3, yeah, about 37 shares of it. All right, well, this month uh, dropped. It's now only 12.75. So your $500 buys you a few more shares. That's 500 divided by 12.75. Uh, yeah, got it. Next month, well, it might be $13.87 a share, and yep, your $500 will then buy you fewer shares. But do you really care? Can you do anything about these differentials? No. Should you hold your money in cash in a B of A account, uh, getting 1% a year interest, waiting for the NAV of the fund to magically one day dip down to $12.56 a share, hoping to then that moment put all of your dough to work? Well, what if the fund never gets there? And uh, given that over time the market goes up when you're not invested in it, you're basically betting against it. History or data in uh, making such a big bet there, yeah, how, how does that make sense? So a constant dollar plan takes away that risk, kind of the, the risk of missing the bull market. The market goes up about six out of every seven years, so it's a bad bet to sit out usually. Well, that's a bad thing, right? So get invested and think of a constant dollar plan as the uh, religion of magic piggy banks that as long as you follow the code of the Jedi and put that 500 bucks away every month, uh, regardless of price, you will wake up one day in great wealth and feeling the force of taxes. Yeah, sorry, you knew we were going to go there. <laughs>